be ready for the dictation 5 seconds to go madam i will be very brief and i shall not repeat some of the things that have already been stated i do support the motion moved by the honorable friend as i understand it the attorney general when he gave his evidence or advice to the joint parliamentary committee based his theme on three essential points one is that you cannot prove the negative that the non existence of middleman or agent or whatever despite the fact of the payment of rupees 64 crores as a condition precedent to the contract which he had not actually seen therefore the condition precedent to a contract which he had not examined and which the jpc also had not examined was sufficient ground to say that you can't ask to prove the negative and thirdly that condition precedent can also be oral these were largely the three essential points which raise questions which i believe only the attorney general can answer because the legal experts and the treasury benches would suppress their expertise and would rather come out with partition aspects of that which is unsustainable the attorney general spoke of the evidence act i hold the evidence act is essentially a procedural act and a fact finding committee such as our joint parliamentary committee was not bound to follow the evidence act there are also exceptions to the evidence act like the principle of the primary burden of proving a fact lying with the party that asserts the existence of a thing and the best example is a child born out of wedlock that is assumed to be the child of that couple and whoever says that this child is not my child or is not born out of wedlock has to prove it to be so here the evidence act is asking you to prove the negative the responsibility of proving the negative lies on whoever makes the assertion therefore the attorney general is wrong therefore it is necessary that the attorney general be called here finally i believe there are other constitutional requirements which make it necessary here is article 299 of the constitution of india because this is related to the attorney general giving advice that the condition precedent could be oral it can be oral in respect of non government contracts only finally under section 92 in fact the evidence act excludes oral evidence sir now i go to my next point what is the general tenor of most of the amending bills interestingly after 1956 we had the amending bill of 1969 there were two bills in 1964 the general tenor of the bill was known whether it was restricting the corporate sector or it was liberal or for what purpose but this particular bill is a little different in the sense that after the present government came to power it announced policies which were very liberal to the corporate sector liberal does not mean that they can break the laws liberal means that the government lays down the framework of the industrial policy and within the framework of 
that policy government wants to give the corporate sector a little leeway to operate but here i find under section 270 or section 374 a whole new definition is given to inter corporate deposits